Hi Comic Geeks, I was waiting for this to arrive. This is a delivery that I received yesterday, but I was waiting for it for almost two months. It's from a couple of online claim sales um, and uh, yeah, I'm quite excited to unbox these together with you guys and see what's inside. I don't even remember what I claimed, um, but I do remember I was quite excited, quite hooked when um, the claim sales was taking place online and I was like I want that because they were so cheap and yeah I just let myself go I went totally over budget but okay uh, it was fun and now we get to see what uh, what, what is it inside and what I uh, claimed I know there were a couple of books uh, or comic issues that uh, fulfill my uh, my collection my current collection uh, or yeah, um, fill up some empty gaps. But most of them will be like sets of comics which I haven't read, even not even heard of sometimes, uh, but they were so cheap, so I had to get them. I am an avid reader, not just simply a collector. Um, I really enjoy reading all those stories, so having sets or complete hardcovers or something like that, as long as I can read the whole story and not have to wait each week or each month for the next part to come out that's what i like to buy because then i can read them in one go so let's dive in and open those boxes first things first um, short box comics always gives us a, a little gift certainly if we buy or claim a lot so two boxes is already a lot and then they uh, sometimes give some freebies so thank you shortbox comics uh, for those apparently those would be the freebies which I didn't expect we've got this one it's like uh, the man of steel issue number four always nice to have it in the collection it looks like a, an older one then we also have number four of DC Universe Lazarus Planet, Goddess of War. And we also got Batman Superman 19 World's Finest. Always uh, looking forward to read that. I have no clue what this is, but apparently <coughs> they put something in here. Let's have a take one out. Oh yeah, I think they're like a couple of posters. Okay, always cool for on the wall. This looks like a Punisher. It's like a bit of publicity. I'm not gonna show all those posters, but I, I do see there's the Hulk in there. I'll look for those a bit later. Let's leave them in the sleeve. Put that aside. Then <coughs> we've got Thor, the annual. We have another Mighty Thor. This is an old one, 15th center. Thor volume one, 169. And then we also have a Marvel team up volume one, 93. We also have Eternals volume one, number three. <laughs> I have to check what it is. Then we also have the Eternals Volume 1, number 13. This is one that I claimed. Then we've got Eternals Volume 1, 17. Eternals Volume 1, 18. So a couple of consecutive Eternals. And then we've got Deadpool, number 3, Volume 8. So this is the first, first batch of standalone comics. Uh, well, standalone. Uh, there were some com consecutives in there. Let me put some things aside and take the next batch. So the next batch we have, this is a little set. So this is the hammer issue one to four, but apparently they taped them together. Okay, so we've got the hammer, issue four of four, got the hammer, issue one of four, issue two of four, and issue three of four. Then we've got 
apparently another hammer issue. Uh, that's the outsider issues. One, two, three. Sticky tapes again. Those sticky tapes are not always that funny. I like it when they um, keep them together, so that's fine. But I hate it. Try to take the tape off. And then we've got this one there. So, <coughs> the hammer. Look. Issue one of three. Issue two of three. And issue three of three. Just like that. Let me put those aside for a moment. Like that. What else do we have? Some Warren Ellis Strange Kiss. Again, taped together, I guess. Or in one bag. Oh, they put it in one bag, apparently. How is this done? Okay, not that easy. However, so what is this? Strange Kiss, issue one by Warren Ellis. Strange Kiss, issue two and issue three. Looks like a nice thing. So that's that. What else have we got? A couple of hardcovers. We've got X Factor Second Coming. That's volume three. Book ten. Book ten. X. Book nine. X Factor. Volume three. Book eight. Number eight. This is not gonna hold. Not the hardcovers. So. Book 8, we've got Book 7, Book 7, we've got Book 2, so do have a gap in there, which I will need to fill, and another hardcover Wolverine, The Reckoning, number 9. So, a couple of hardcovers, let's put those aside, because there's more to come, let me check. Next up, a big load. And again, some sticky tape at the sides. Okay, first, not this one. First is a set of Witch Blades, volume one. And this is issue 19. Let me put this a bit closer. Volume one, issue 19, issue 20, issue 23. Issue 24, issue 25, then we've got 42, we've got 43, 44, and 45. This is great because I do have like the first 18 um, issues of volume 1. So they are uh, expanding my, uh, my volume 1 run. Um, I still have a couple of gaps, but not, not that many anymore. So that's the witch blades. What else do we have? So here we've got Blaze, Legacy of Blood, one of four. And it's one, two, four. Blaze, Legacy of Blood, one to four. So four issues, little run. Blaze, never heard of it. Apparently it's part of the Midnight Suns run. Um, yeah, I have to read it to know what it's about. And then we've got a Big stack, I guess. A really big stack. But we've got Justice League of America issue one. And also, can I more straight? That might be better. Okay, so Justice League of America issue one. Issue 2, issue number 3, cool covers, tornado outreach. Issue number 4, got issue 5 of the Justice League. Issue 6, that's a whole run. Issue 7, issue 8, issue 9, 10. I'm going a bit faster because, yeah, I haven't read this, but it was a whole run, so I had to have it. Issue 12, issue 13, issue 15, oh, nice covers, 16, 17, so we're at 17, time to <laughs> take them away and put the next batch on, so 18, we continue with this one, 18, 19, number 20, 
the flash number 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Exactly 30 issues of Justice League of America. I have a lot to read, <laughs> but that's great. So this I like, I can really read through it. I've got 30 issues to read. Um, that's just great, fantastic. I love those. What else do we have? Uh, another Warren Ellis, Strange Killings, Necromancer. Well, let's just leave it like this. I think that's issue one to three. Warren Ellis, Strange Killings, Necromancer. I do know Warren Ellis as a writer, really great artist. Um, I don't know the series Strange Killings, Necromancer, never heard of it. Um, it does seem a bit dark, zombie-ish, which is kind of my thing. I do like the, the more dark, mature, zombie apocalypse uh, kind of stuff. So, And it's almost ha Halloween, so I can read this in the coming weeks. Why not? It's the, the perfect time for it. And then what else do we have? A bit of Electra, Root of Evil, 1 to 4. Electra. We're not finished yet. There's more in the box. So let's look at the next stack. Oh, another big stack. We've got a whole... Okay, we had the Justice League of America. Now we've got a, a full set of Justice Society of America. Let me just take the sticky tape off. I apologize for the sticky tape stuff. I should have taken those off up front. But again, we are uncovering or unboxing. So that comes with it. If I want to do that live with you guys. <laughs> Let's have a look. So, Justice Society of America. Well, one more. There we go. Justice Society of America, number one. Issue number two, Jeff Johns, always great. This is a Jeff Johns run. I think I'm gonna like to read this one. Number four, number five, cool cover. Number six, number seven, also a really great cover. Eight, issue nine, issue ten, issue eleven, issue twelve, thirteen, Superman. 14, 15, 16, 17, look at those awesome covers, 18, whoa. okay, we are 18, we move this away and we continue with 19, 20, 21, 22, still Jeff Johns, 20, oh, here's a gap, 22, 24, so I'm missing 23, and then 25, yeah, okay, I'm missing 23, but okay, I'll find that somewhere in the back orders, so Justice Society of America, what else do we have, another Justice League run, another Justice League run, which is Justice League, League Elite, apparently, the sticky tapes are in. And there we go. No, there's still tape on the front. There we go. Justice League Elite. Issue number one by Joe Kelly. Issue number two. Issue three. Issue four. Issue number five. Issue six. Issue seven. Eight. Nine, ten, mm, okay, eleven issues of Justice League Elite without any gaps. So great. Looking forward to read that. What else do we have? Something small. Gravel. Also Warren Ellis. Gravel one and two. Never heard of this. So if you have read this and it's any good, please put it in the comments. I haven't read it. Um so <laughs> Uh, it will be a surprise, a discovery of a new series for me, but by a great artist. Warren Ellis is always good. Then another discovery, also Warren Ellis, 
it's Dr. Sleepless issues one to four. Future science, Jesus, what the hell? <laughs> I have no idea what to expect from this one, <laughs> but okay, I'm into reading new things. Then we have another big stack Astro City, The Dark Age, book one, book two, and book three. Do I have to open those? Yeah, I do. Let me open those quickly. There's still st some tape on it, but you can see enough. Otherwise, it's going to take too much time. But there we go. Astro City. Uh, what was it? Astro City. The Dark Age. This is issue one. Issue two. Uh, it's from Bu uh, Kurt Busiek. Book. This is book three, by the way. Book three, issue four. So Astro City Book 3, Issue 1 to 4. This is Astro City Book 1, Issue 1. Also Book 1, Issue 2. Book 1, Issue 3. And Book 1, Issue 4. I have no idea what it, this is about. It looks cool. And then we've got Astro City Book 2, Issue 1. Book 2, Issue 2. Book 2, Issue uh, 4. <laughs> And book two, issue three. So three volumes, four issues each. Book one, book two, book three, Astro City, The Dark Age. There we go. Looking forward to reading that. And then what else do we have? Oh, Blaze. So we already had a Blaze, I think a four issue Blaze before. And now we've got another Blaze. Still don't know what it is about. That won't change during this video. Uh, because I have to read it and that takes some time but what else do we have like that another blaze so this is a bit of a foil cover blaze issue one then blaze issue two man thing blaze issue three issue four issue five Issue 6, Issue 7, Issue 8, Issue 9, Issue 10, Issue 11. So 11 consecutive issues of Blaze. What else do we have? We've got... Oh yeah, spider Wen Shadow Clones. I guess it's the whole set. Yeah, Issues 1, 2, 3. spider Gwen Shadow Clones. We're not finished yet. Let me grab the rest. So to continue, we've got a little run of The Midnight Nation by Straczynski. Issues 1 to 12. Let's put them on here. Midnight Nation. Straczynski is a great writer also. Issue 2, Issue 3, Issue 4. Midnight Nation, issue 5, issue 7, uh -huh. thought I had a gap, but no, issue 6, issue 7, issue 8, issue 9, issue 10, and issue 11, and the last one, issue 12. I hope it's a complete run, uh, I haven't read it yet, so we'll see what it is. Midnight Nation. Immediately putting them away also. Uh, I'm not gonna unpack them all. So next is a run. Secret Defenders 1. And it's the full full run. I think it's yeah, approximately 11, 11 or 12 issues. Secret Defenders Marvel. We'll see. So that's a full set. What else? Do we have Brian Michael Bendis and Mac cover? So that's issues one to six of cover by Bendis and Mac. Kind of excited to read that too. Great author, Brian Michael Bendis. Then the next one is by Matteo De Longis, The Prism. Issues one to six also. I have never read it. Uh, I think it's a bit of sci-fi-ish 
I guess if you have uh, read it and it's a good series or if it's not a good series please warn me up front in the comments but still I'm gonna make up my own mind and read it anyway and I'll might tell you if I like the series yes or no then we've got a big stack is this a full stack yeah Oof. okay that's a big one Strazinski again rising stars rising stars Prelude, then issue one and a half, issue zero apparently, and then it starts issue one. Issue, is it also issue one? I guess it's, yeah, I should open it. Maybe it's a, a big cover or something, or the other way around. And another, another couple of variants there, another variant. And then it starts issue two, issue three, issue four. Kind of darkish, hellish, demons, rising stars, issue 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, oh, that's twice, number 9. Okay, so there's a variant cover, Chicago exclusive. This is issue 10, issue 11, 12, 13, 14, and now it's too heavy. So, 14 issues in. Let me check the rest. We've got issue 15, 16, 17, 18. Nice covers. 19, 20 of Rising Stars by Straczynski. 21, 22, 23, and 24. So, 24 issue that's the series finale so it's the complete series of rising stars by j michael strazinski let me put it away and next i won't open it but apparently it's a full set of the new avengers of two issues one to 34 new avengers issues one to 34 that's volume two big stack what else have we got there we go what else do we have telos oh yeah okay the set of telos oh, do i see anything here yeah it's the full run of telos so we've got a prologue prelude i think a variant of the prelude yeah that's a foil variant then issue one of telos or another issue one Variant cover, issue 2, issue 3, issue 4, 5, 6, she looks pretty damn wounded, issue 7, issue 8, issue 9, flashy colors, and issue number 10 of Telos. So, issues 1 to 10 of Telos. What else do we have? A couple. So, next up we've got... DV8 issues 0 to 10. So 10 issues of DV8 by Heisler, Rio, and Scott. Never heard of it. Wildstorm published. We'll see what it. Uh, so that's DV8. Then we also have Army of Darkness Forever issues 1 to 7. Army of Darkness forever issues one to seven and then we also have soul saga soul saga volume one complete also a stack i think approximately 10 ish mm -hmm. beautiful cover hubba hubba. and there's a preview book of telos is also in here so i should put that with the other teloses Oh, and this has a certificate of authenticity, which says preview book limited to 5,000 copies. And this is issue, copy 2,838 of it. So, yeah, I'll put that with the other Telos first, because otherwise I'll forget. There it is. And then stash these away. We're almost there. Almost there. There's couple of things left in the box oh yeah okay 
I remember that one before I show to me. Yeah. So the next is Batman Adventures or the Adventures Continue. This is season one. So the complete set. This is season two. The complete set. And this is season three. The complete set of Batman the Adventure. Adventures continue. Happy to read those. I'm not a big Batman collector, so yeah. All the, I think this is the first uh, collection of Batman series really in my collection. So why not? And then, oh, it's not finished yet. We've got Batman Adventures Volume 2. 17 issues. So that comes before those other three books, I guess. Batman Adventures, Volume 2, issues 1 to 17. And then, what else do we have? Okay, this is the last part. So we've got Kick-Ass vs. Hit-Girl. That's great, because I do have the Kick-Ass uh, complete series. I think it's 1, 2, 3, is it 4? Three or four. I do have it complete. And then this is uh, like the spin-off, Kick Kick versus Hit Girl. Um, so that completes my uh, my, of the, uh, my uh, collection of the Kick Ass series. What else do we have? Gen 13, Volume 2. This is from 95 to 2002. Gen 13. It's nicely drawn. I have no clue what it is about. Then what else do we have? We've got BPRD, Plague of Frogs, issues 1 to 5. Yeah, and for 10 bucks for 5 issues, so that's 2, two issue, which is pretty fine on average for me. Could be lower, but um, this is already great. What else do we have? Dawn of DC, Amazon's Attack. Volume 2, issues 1 to 4, and it's gone away. And then the last part we have is the Kindred, issues 1 to 4, the Kindred. So that's it for this haul. It's quite a stack. Uh, it was two heavy boxes. I'm looking forward to reading those all, but I think I will need like weeks even months to uh, go get through all those and still have my weekly comics also to buy and read so yeah but i'm, I'm pretty happy with um, with these claim sales see you in the next video and hopefully um yeah or in my next haul